Hi and welcome to PeaceMeg TV. In today's WordPress tutorial, we're going to take a look at a question that was recently asked on the YouTube channel. And that is, how do we add a search bar into Slider Revolution 5? So what we're going to take a look at in this video is how we create the hero slider. We're going to insert the code that allows us to put a search bar in there. And we're going to test that and see how it all integrates into Slider Revolution and into your website. So let's take a look at all that now. So I'm in Slider Revolution 5 and I've just created a normal hero slider and I've just created and set up the background on there. So we're now ready to go in and create the search function. Now what we can do with this is we can add additional layers in there and if we take a look the first option we have is text-html. So what this tells us is we can add in text if we want to but we can also add in html code and that's what we need to do for this example. So let's click on text-html we get the typical dialog box that allows us to insert what we want. And what we've got to put in there now is the actual code to create a search form. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste this in, but I'm going to bring it in in Notepad a second, just so I can quickly go through what you need to do with this. Now, this will be in the description in the, the uh, section below, and it'll also be available on the website, so you can see exactly what goes on, and you can just copy and paste this into your installation. But the most important thing we need to do is specify the right domain. So you can see that the action at the moment is set up for me on my local host and my WordPress test installation. Obviously, if this was on your live website, you'd have HTTP, blah, 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 and your domain name. So make sure you change that over. That's important. Everything else on there is pretty straightforward. You'll also see we have a class on there which we've got set up to RevTP search form. So if you want to reference this to style any of the elements, you have that class that you can apply to this specific layer. We've got the search method is set to get. We've got the search form ID is set up and the values that we passed over so WordPress can actually interpret the text that we're searching for. So as you can see, it's just name equals S, ID equals S. So if you've changed that for any reason with your installation of Reaper, then you're going to need to make sure that the form you use in this is also updated to reflect the changes that you've made. But I'm just going to say, I'm going to copy this. And I'm simply going to paste this into the layer we've got there. So I'll just confirm that. And now all I need to do is position that on my page where I want it. Let's add in another layer, which is just going to be text. And we'll say... And we'll just set that, we'll confirm it. We'll position that where we want it on the page and we'll just style that quickly. So we'll just go in and choose a predefined style. Uh, let's come to this section and we'll just choose something that's got a background color to it. That'll do. And we'll position that where we want it. And align everything nice and neat. So there we go. There's our basic slider setup. So we've got a search box in there. The HTML code is inserted for that. And we've got some information above that tells people exactly what they can do on this slide. So let's just save that slide out. Then we'll switch over to the demonstration page and we'll take a look at what this looks like on the page itself. And there we go. We've now got that on the page. Now, as you can see, we've got a few styling issues, which we could rectify, but I'm not going to go into that in this video. That's up to you to sort of sort out and make sure that it fits in with the style that you've got on your website. But it's all referenced, like I say, you've got a custom class assigned to this layer, so you can target that quite easily. So now if we just type in something we want to search for, we'll say news, for example, and we'll just hit find. That will now go off and search through our database, and there we go. There's all the pages that I've got on my site or posts that all feature the word news. So that's really all there is to creating your search bar inside the Slider Revolution application. I hope you found this quite simple and useful. Like I've said, the content for the actual search code is going to be placed in the description below and also on the, the website, which I'll link to in the description below. So you can copy and paste that over. Well, I hope you found the video useful. If you did, please hit the subscribe button below to be kept up to date with all the new videos that we add every single week. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. If you have any comments, questions, or feedback on this video or anything else we do on the channel, please pop those in the comment section below. Read every question asked and every comment. Well, until next time, take care.